Newton's Laws of Motion. Presented to you by Newton's First Law. An object at rest will remain this way unless it is acted upon by a force. An object that is moving will continue to move at the same speed and in the same direction unless an unbalanced force acts upon it. Here is a short demonstration of Newton's first law. I don't see anything! Uh, he's there! Just, just keep <laughs> looking! <laughs> <the torch. gasps> Let's review what happened. The pin board was at rest until the unbalanced force of the car knocked it over. The pin board then fell on top of the round globe which sent it rolling away. The globe then continued rolling in the same direction until it knocked into the desk lamp. The unbalanced force of the globe sent the lamp spinning around. And then it knocked Buzz out the window. The force of gravity sent him downwards into the bushes. Newton's second law of motion. An object will accelerate in the direction of an unbalanced force acting upon it. The size of this acceleration depends upon the mass of the object and the size of the force acting. Here is a short demonstration of Newton's second law. <laughs> you did it! Next stop, Andy! Wait a minute. I just lit a rocket. Rockets explode! <laughs> Held on long. Look, look, it's Woody and Buzz coming up fast! Let's review what happened. The rocket thrust Buzz and Andy forward, because the rocket had a great force, the toys traveled very quickly. They accelerated in the same direction of the unbalanced force acting upon it, and then went upwards as Buzz pointed the rocket to the sky. How is force, mass, and acceleration measured? In mathematical terms, Newton's second law of motion states that the overall or net force is the equivalent to an object's mass multiplied by its acceleration. Let's make a diagram to explain it better. Here on the pyramid we have force, mass, and acceleration. Place your finger over force, unless you have a touch screen then use something else, like a rock. As you can see, a formula is made below the force. Mass multiplied by acceleration. Now cover the mass section. The formula for calculating mass is made, force divided by acceleration. Finally cover the acceleration section. The formula becomes force divided by mass. Newton's third law of motion. For every action force there is an equal and opposite reaction force. Here is a short demonstration of Newton's third law. To infinity and beyond! Can. Whoa! Oh, wow, you flew magnificently! Let's review what happened. Buzz applies a force onto the bed which applies an equal force back which makes him jump into the air. He then falls onto the bouncy ball which applies another force bouncing him onto the car track. Then gravity sends Buzz down the track while the force of the car holds him up. Buzz goes spinning around on a whirly plane. 
then applies another force as he lands back onto the bed while the bed applies a force keeping Buzz from falling through the sheets, looking like an idiot as I'm sure Woody would have wanted. So what did we learn today? An object at rest will remain this way unless it is acted upon by a force. An object that is moving will continue to move at the same speed and in the same direction unless an unbalanced force acts upon it. An object will accelerate in the direction of an unbalanced force acting upon it. The size of this acceleration depends upon the mass of the object and the size of the force acting. For every action force there is an equal and opposite reaction force. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of the presentation. I hope you gained some IQ points today and know a bit more about Newton's laws of motion. See if you can point out any actions in your everyday life and see which law applies to it. Otherwise, have a good day, and remember... Yeah! You are a child's plaything!